our Actual Edge community. If you're new here or you're one of our regulars, don't forget to click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Let's jump into today's topic. You might be thinking, what's the connection between kissing and HIV? Well, there's a lot of misconceptions out there, so let's break it down. First things first, kissing can be complicated and fun. But here's the big question, can you get HIV from kissing? Short answer, not really except in very rare situations. But if that got your attention, stick with us as we dive deeper. A shocking statistic from 2019 reveals that 28% of Gen Zers and Millennials hesitated to even hug someone with HIV. It's high time we cleared up such misconceptions. Starting off, you cannot get HIV from saliva. The fluids that can transmit HIV include blood, semen, vaginal fluid and a few others. And even then, transmission isn't guaranteed. There needs to be an entry point like a vein or mucous membrane. Now, when it comes to kissing, very rarely has transmission occurred if both partners have bleeding gums or sores. But keep in mind, it's the blood, not saliva, that would be the cause. Curious about other oral activities? Good news. The CDC labels both receptive and insertive oral activities as low risk for HIV transmission. As Dr. Kenneth Mayer says, the risk of contracting HIV from kissing is virtually zero. If you're worried about potential exposure, you've got options. Talk to your healthcare provider and sexual partner. Consider getting on a PrEP treatment or ensuring your partner is on their HIV medications, keeping their HIV undetectable. It's also worth noting some outdated laws criminalize people with HIV for actions like spitting, even though saliva doesn't transmit HIV. Awareness and understanding are key. Bottom line, stay informed. Engage in open conversations. Regular HIV testing can also be a proactive step to ensure your safety and the safety of others. Thanks for tuning in, Actual Edge family. Remember, the power of knowledge can combat fear and misinformation. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more enlightening content. Stay safe, stay informed, and as always, keep it on the Actual Edge. Until next time.